Hi, my name is Caroline Danaher. I'm here in the Boatyard restaurant in Dingle, County Kerry. Beautiful, picturesque Dingle. I'm so blessed to be working here. So the Boatyard has just gone through a lovely refurbishment. Uh, we have a beautiful new conservatory overlooking the bay here. Uh, we primarily source all our fish locally. The restaurant opens normally from March to November and from November to March then I teach culinary arts in Dingle Cookery School just back the road. So again I'm blessed that I'm working all year round in this tourist town. Um, I'm promoting food all year round as well. I'm teaching students the passion you know, of the food and we're here in the boat yard, I suppose, eight years and thank God it's going strength to strength. So the way my job is changing, I'm also programming ovens now, I'm telling computer programmers how to program the oven to suit our needs. So I'm kind of, it's great, I'm lucky that I'm chefing and that I'm also involved in the new technology coming up. I've been to Italy looking at the new ovens, you know, the computerised ovens, what they basically are is a tablet and you hold your finger and you drag and drop your item you want to cook in the oven and it cooks it to that perfection all the time. So I suppose I am accepting the future of the chefs is changing. Um, I'm on board with the new technologies, I'm learning about them. Whatever we say that, you know, a classic is fantastic, but we do have to move with the times as well. In Asia, it's robots that are loading the ovens now. You know, my colleagues are over in Asia that work with Moduline, who's, um, Moduline is um, a region oven company. So they do slow cookers, region ovens, and in Asia at the minute, there is a robot actually opening the oven door for the chefs and putting in the food. This is the future. I think the Kami chefs coming up um, are so lucky for the future because 20 years ago when I started, there was a lot of screaming, there was a lot of roaring. You know, that is true. That's totally changed in the last five or 10 years. I was lucky to do the honours degree in the IT Tralee. I was lucky to do food photography, videography, food styling. This has all been introduced now, you know, as part of the honours degree. There is just such a scope for the, the upcoming chefs. And again, it's all down to drive. You know, it's all down to drive for themselves. Like, you know, I have the passion. I love every part of it. I love waking up in the morning. I love looking out the bay. I love to think about who's coming in with what today. Our chefs come in with edible flowers. You know, it's all about teamwork now. Everybody's sharing their recipes in the kitchen. It's just, it's a lovely place to be at the minute, I think. And it's only going to get better. If we work as even say look here at Dingle there are say so many people who love to grow their food you know and if we come together as a community and say well I'm growing this you're growing that let's start sharing a bit and I do think it's feasible you know we have a lot of land and that if we can get a good community together and start sharing a network yeah confidence is huge I suppose it took me years I didn't believe in myself for a long time you know and it took me a long, long time to believe that I can do this too. I used to look at chefs and say, oh, I'd love to be like them. But until one chef said to me, you are like them, you just need to believe in yourself. I tried, like we were in the New York Times a few years ago, do you know, for a little simple dish called the Taste of Dingle Bay. And all I did was make a little crab tartlet, a little crab cake, our lovely Dingle Bay chowder, and some Dingle Bay crab claws. Put it on a plate, it looked beautiful, but it was all the flavours that were put in with that dish that married so well together. And it was so simple, but it was so beautiful. And that's what it's about. Don't be thinking of foams or anything like that. Keep it simple. Use our herbs, use our locality, and just cook from the heart, really, you know. And that's what it's about, the heart.